Hi. So um, today is uh, it's not really a stick with me. It's more like put shit away with me. But um, she's doing a tag that she didn't pre-screen, and um, it's a would you rather tag, and starts out okay, but it starts starts getting a little dark. It's a, a little morbid, um, you know, partway through. So if, if, and you know, she gets it because she suffers from uh, depression. And if you're having any issues right now, if you're having any kind of depressive episode, then um, you might want to skip this one because this is certainly not a mood lifter. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe just come back to this one some other time. But anyway, um, yeah, the, the beginning starts out okay. It's, it's, you know, not real upbeat and perky, um, but she's, this is still the day that she did Disney, and she's really kind of exhausted, but um, seems pretty safe at the beginning. But then, yeah, once you start hearing, like, that first questionable, um, would you rather, if you just shut it off. Shut it off and put it in your watch list, watch later list. But, um, yeah, so, you know. Wanted to warn you, because you know, it's not for everybody. It's like um, same thing. She's watching Thirteen Reasons Why right now on Netflix, and yeah, you got to be in the right frame of mind to be watching that. So. Okay, so I decided what I'm going to start on is the side-by-side -side comparison. And before I start that, the the DIY painting, this is the square drill that Diamond Art Club sent me, their competitor's product, in order to compare to theirs. And it was folded in the center. And I the current painting I'm working on has a several of these bad creases and I did nothing to rectify the situation before I started so I'm suffering the repercussions of that and trying to fix things afterward by pulling diamonds off but uh, it was recommended to me to check out a video from Roanna DIY Moon she has a video on how to fix these fault lines for lack of a better term so I want to just kind of you know go through the process with you guys and have you see what I'm going to do based on her information and whether or not it works. So I'm going to try and get this right in here where you can see kind of what my issue is. Here's the, here's the fault line. Okay. So if you can see that, there's this ripple that runs the whole, where am I? The whole length of the painting. And I started it, down in this end, so actually let me turn this around. <clears throat> Started the process down here. Let me get this focused. And there we go. Okay, so what you do essentially is you let me set you down. You scratch back and forth. The line runs this way, so you're just gonna scribble back and forth. I'm using an empty drill. At least I thought it was empty. Oops, where's my camera? Apparently it's not empty. Let me get that out of there. I've got some tacky in there. Let me clean her out. Or you know what? Oh, let me see if I have... Here, this is an empty pen. Let's use this one. So... And I apologize for my fingers being in the way. I'm trying to do this. Um, let me try flipping, uh, flipping thing. Okay. You know, it's hard to get it right in there so you can see, but then be focused and still be able to 
you know, get my fingers around it. So, so I'm going to tape, tape it down to the table <clears throat> so that I can do this without it moving on me. So I'm just taping the canvas to the table to keep it from wiggling. So I guess, you know, the theory is, is you've got that little, you know, fault line or ridge going, so you're busting it down by working it against the grain there. And I want to give both paintings a fair shake. I don't want to, you know, just intentionally do this with, uh, with that problem area. So now I'm gonna tip you up here a little something under to get you so you can see further down. I hope that's focused well enough that you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing without having to really, really have your face in the canvas. I don't want to, you know, you sticking it to your nose or anything, but I also want you to be able to see whether or not it's working. I should have printed a tag. <clears throat> I think I finally got through the other one. Let me get my list. What was I going to talk about? What kind of things do I have to talk about? Well, I already told you guys about my ideas for the Ziploc baggie hangers. And I showed you my jewelry board. And I showed you my drawer organizers. So I guess I get to cross those off the list. I want to start my mermaid, but I also want to do this. And a little update. I went to the uh, Diamond Art Club website. They have a chat function. And I sent a chat um, to them, letting them know that I was missing one color. Now, of course, I feel bad even saying anything because the painting that they sent me was a free gift. But, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my throat. I've been hanging out with Brandy too much with the throat frogs, as she calls them. Um, but, anyway, I felt bad complaining that I was missing a color since it was free. I didn't pay for it, and it was a free gift. But, again, I'm sure their motivation in sending me free stuff is because I have a channel and I'll review it. They have confidence in their company. So, you know, I'm not going to not say anything and just accept the gift and not review it. I mean, that wouldn't be right. So, anyway, I, I sent a message on their chat feature on their website and um, within five minutes they had uh, responded back again apologizing and they'll send it right away the missing drills so that's great wonderful again you know it, it shows that they'll be back tomorrow it shows that they're gone home for the day or whatever but they always respond within you know minutes so that looks pretty good it looks like I broke that down and I'm putting the paper back over it and I don't see any kind of ridging on the paper. Um, so let's see how long it takes for them to, to arrive, those missing drills. And uh, so I guess, you know, I'm going to do these two, the comparison of the two different companies. These shouldn't take long, I don't think. A couple days each, I'm guessing. You know, so maybe, whatever, a week, two weeks max to get through both of these and then be able to move on to something else. Um, I, I'll show you how far I've got on my whips. The uh, crystal cottage or the rhinestone cottage or whatever you want to call it, the really sparkly one. 
And that one I'll show you a picture. I'll put it in here. So that one has been fun. Um, and I've got pictures of how I'm using my Tic Tac boxes for that. And I ordered 42 sets of these Tic Tac boxes. So those should arrive in the next eh, probably week and a half. Or so, and that's going to be my my leftover drill storage system. Um, at least that's the thought right now. It wasn't terribly, terribly expensive. You know, I'd seen it for those little kits anywhere from if you had a tax exempt ID, Joanne Fabrics. Their website has a like a wholesale link. Where you can get them for, I think it was two dollars and seventeen cents a kit, but I don't have a tax exempt ID. And I talked to my husband about his company; he doesn't have one either. So, um, found them on Consumer Crafts for whatever the price was that I showed in the picture. And the other one, I'll insert the picture of my receipt, my order here as well. So I'm waiting for those to come and love to organize so I can't wait for that all to arrive and the only thing is is I have to finish some painting paint paintings gotta finish some paintings in order to have some leftover drills um, I think that looks pretty good now I'm gonna put the paper I'm gonna see if I have a different piece of paper because this paper that was originally on it is you know it's got that crease in the same spot and it's going to just end up causing me angst of whether or not i've resolved the issue because my paper's creased and i can't tell so let me let me take a look and see if i can find a leftover piece of something okay so i have a leftover piece of clear plastic and again, if you're new, if you've got this clear plastic, there's a, a right side and a wrong side. That's the wrong side. Test it. That's the right side. Was I off camera with that? I think you could see that. This is the right side. Comes off. That's the wrong side. So... If I had a decent Sharpie, let me make sure it's correct. Here's what I'm going to do. Let me, let me back you guys up a little. Oh, now what's that stupid? I stuck you on a coaster and stuck the coaster to the painting. That's awesome. That's so, that's... That's a girl. That's a girl, Wendy. Oh, and then I was taped to the table, too. Yes. Really nice in action. Okay. It's situated here. Okay. What I'm going to do is, you know, edit all that mistake out because I want y'all to think I'm perfect. Okay. I think I've got that covered. Redo that. It's not quite all the way there. I think I just did that backwards. That's coming off really hard. Oh my goodness. Let's try that one again. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. Wow, I'm scared now. This one feels slicker. Slicker. Okay. We're just gonna we're gonna just let it waft down. There we go. Okay. We're going to go with that, girls. And guy, I think I have one male subscriber. Don't want to leave you out, sir. 
young man. Okay. Now that's so, oh, that, that's okay. I think there's uh, different uh, quality. Quality. God, now I'm squeaky. Now I'm a you know fourteen year old boy going through the change. Different qualities is plastic, but anyway. So got my plastic sheet on there now, and there was a little corner that we did a few days ago where we were testing out the regular diamond painting pink wax versus uh, instant tacky versus loctite and I'm still going with the instant tacky I that's just my preference I like the instant tacky I think everybody would agree of either one over the pink wax but my preference is the instant tacky. I feel like I have to fill my pen less often. So this is all ready to go. I think that that seam has been rectified. The crack has been rectified. So, so I think I'll start on this one and um, kit this up. Let me count the colors again on it. Because I have this box that I haven't tried out yet. Got this at Michael's Bead Landing. 20 containers. And it's got some big containers. Some, we'll call them extra large, large, medium, and small. So it's got four sizes in there. So I think we'll kit this up in that. Provided I have 20 colors or less, let me quickly count them. I've got 30 colors, so <clears throat> we'll, fig we'll figure something out. But I guess I'll do 20, the first 20 there and figure something else out. Because I like to have it portable, you know, something that I can take back and forth on the go. Um, but yeah, I'll figure something out for how fur. Why do I keep saying fur? But you know what? Now that I've caught myself saying fur instead of four, I'm listening to other channels and apparently a lot of us do that here in the States. Fur. Sure. I never took a nap. I'm still yawning. I'm sorry. Uh, Crafty Tina Lynn had a new video and I've watched a couple more from um abstract crafter getting getting closer to current day on hers and uh, watching the saga on that so can't wait to see how that turns out but let me show you all of my whips so I showed you the the crystal cottage rhinestone cottage whatever you want to call it let me show you where I'm at now on the four seasons tree the whole point of this was I was going to right top on the top so I can stop worrying about putting the wrong side down. I'm hoping a actual like Sharpie Sharpie permanent won't come off. So I'm going to write on it and set it aside, let it dry, make sure. And then if it does smear, I'm, I'm wiping the whole thing off. But let me do that. Okay, so top on the bottom. I wrote top. I wrote top there too. Because as soon as I wrote top and the bottom, I thought, well, shit, that's confusing. So I can, I guess, write top on all four corners. But I'm going to leave it at two because I want to move on. Okay, so this is how far I've gotten. I think I'll take a photograph. So I just, I was about to roll this up and put it away. And I'm not done with this section. So I guess we're going to do a stick with me to finish that. Because um, I want to put this away when it's like, you know, a section done. 
but then I had also said I was going to get all the way to there, but that's only like one more space. So maybe, maybe I'll do a stick with me to get that and then down to the midpoint done. So, gosh, but I really, really, really want to do something else. <sighs> oh boy. All right. Well, I think I'm, I'm not going to stick with you. I'm going to stick by myself and watch, you know, Netflix um, while I do that. So with you guys, I'll do something else because um, I need to get a tag ready and everything to do that. And I keep yawning, so that's not going to be a good stick with me because you'll all, you know, develop narcolepsy. That's not good for subscribership. So, yeah, we're going to work on that. On our own time. Okay, I figured out how I am going to kit these two up. The Diamond Art Club 13 colors, DIY 30. You add them together, you get 43. One of these craftmates will hold. 56 colors, so I'm going to put them both in one. Getting wild, getting crazy. But that's how I roll. Crazy and wild. So, let me pull up a tab so I have something to talk about. And let's see here. I think we finished the last one. Yeah, it, we did. So, let me see here. Um, how am I going to get at another one? I don't know. Gosh. Let me Google something. Okay, it's very dangerous to, you know, set me loose on the internet because now I'm just shopping. I love that. I love, love, love that picture. That might be the next one I buy. I wish her dress was red because it would go so well in my bedroom if that was red and gold. But I just, I love that. I mean, it would look nice in here too, but I love that picture. Okay, hold on. Okay. I found one. I'm probably going to skip through a lot of them. And uh, I'd actually talked to Christina and we were going to do some together. The same ones, but they're all on my phone. And I can't get at my phone because we're recording a video. So I used my tablet. And uh, anyway. So these are, instead of just your typical tag questions, I found a would you rather list. So let's go with that. That'll be fun. First question. After a breakup, would you rather be alone or be surrounded by friends? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I've been married for seven years and we were together for you know, a year and a half before we got married. So it's been a while since I had a breakup, but I'd probably rather be alone. Probably rather be alone. I'm kind of a loner as it is. I'm not a real social person, you know. So yeah, I'd probably rather be alone. With a giant bowl of ice cream. And some really good Stuff on Netflix. And lots of crafts. Now I can be alone and surrounded by friends. In that, I can be alone and have my friends on YouTube. So I've got you guys. So, yeah, that's what I'm going with. All right, now I'm going to uh, gonna bust these suckers open. 
with you on pause because I know how loud that can be, especially if you're wearing earbuds. So let me get the noisy part under control for a second here. Sorry, I got carried away and started doing more. Okay, number two. Americans. Would you rather have free health care or free education? Hmm. Well, it depends if I'm going to give my, well, it depends. There's pros and cons to both, okay? I've got five sons. None of them have gone through college yet. So in that sense, free education. But we cannot afford to pay for our kids' education. They have to pay for it themselves. So, you know, selfishly, no skin off my nose. Um, if I had the money, I would pay for my kids' schooling. My parents paid for mine. I was very fortunate in that. There's a story behind that. They paid for mine until I said, hey, guess what, Mom and Dad, I'm pregnant. And then they said, okay, fantastic. You're paying for your own school from here on out. So, you know, it took me a while to finish. It took seven years to get all the way through and get my bachelor's. So, you know, um, and I don't blame them a bit for that. You know, I made adult choices and suffered adult consequences by having to finish school on my own uh, paycheck. So, you know, I think, I think my parents had, had a good idea in that, um, in that sense, you know, it was, you know, we're willing to pay for school, but you need to be responsible. You need to keep up your grades. You need to, you know, we're not going to pay for you to go party. So, um, that's completely understandable. Uh, so in that sense, you know, as a parent right now, I can't, I can't afford it. So it doesn't really make a difference in that sense. Um, so those are the kind of the pros and cons with the education. I mean, it'd be awesome if I could afford to pay for my kids, but it was free, so I get to keep the money. But I don't have the money anyway, so I'm not going to pay for it anyway. So it makes no difference to me on that. It makes a difference to the kids, obviously. But I think that my experience of having it both ways, you know, the first two years or so my parents paid, and the last, you know, two years that took me five to get through because I was paying for it myself, um, you know, I think you take it a lot more seriously when you have to pay for it yourself. You don't, you don't screw around in your classes and, you know, get by, by the skin of your nose because you're out drinking all the time and partying. If you're paying, if it's your dime, you, you know, crack the books you study and do the best you can so that you don't fail classes and have to retake them and pay for them again. Um, my parents were firm believers that you take better care of things that you had to work for than things that were given to you. So, so but free health care, awesome. I have no problem with that. That would be great. I guess the only issue with that is if your taxes are so damn high and you got people who are hypochondriacs going in for every little thing, you know, that's your dime too. So I guess I'd go, I would vote for health care. Now, I need to go make a photocopy of my chart because I will show you why. So let me uh, let me go make a copy of this real quick and then we'll continue. Okay, so here's the original and I blew it up to 200% for the chart there. So I actually didn't need to cut out the number this is how I did it with my diamond dots the first time, but I, I don't need that. I suppose I could keep it for leftovers, but we're going to leave that for now. Here's how I'm going to do this. So, I'm going to go free-handed. Crazy me, huh?
I hate that you can always hear me breathing. I'm holding my breath now because now you're going to be listening for it. What is she doing? Hi. So, 154 and there's my symbol. There's what I'm doing. Folding that in half. Okay. There's my symbol. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter if I do it that way. That would be fine. Okay. Before I was flipping them over, but I'm going to do it this way this time. And I've got a little, I've got enough weight. I can put over there. I can cut that off. There's enough there. I can cut that off, which means then I can, of course, cut it off on here too. Somebody down there suffering. Hubby's been sleeping on the couch since the moment we got home from uh, Disney today. Okay, there we go. All right. Are y'all perplexed? No, not really. Kind of gave it away. Let's do it this way. Let me see here. Go that way. Okay, we're gonna go that way. Lost it in there. And I do have enough there to take that back off there too, but okay, so I'm gonna go this way with it. And so when my box is open, it's correct. I'm going to go that way. And I could, if I wanted to, I could stick that little weight up. I'm going to try and let go of that, though. I'm going to just do this. Which then makes me want to do it the other way. Starting at the other end for my ones. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. Okay. I can't do it. I, I'm trying to, you know, be free-spirited, but I can't. I can't. Oh, yes, I can. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. Can't do it. All right. Is that Dana Carvey? Saturday Night Live back in, what was it, the 90s? The early 2000s? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to just flip that out over there and I'm going to flip it around I was trying to do this in you know like a one step process but I can't deal with uh, it being like that so we're going to do it this way okay there we go okay now, when it's open, I can see what symbol it is. You might not think so, but I think it's genius. Okay, okay so the next question. Is political, so I'm skipping it. Okay. 
skipping four too. It's about musicians. I'm not into music, so sorry. Number five. Pass. Number six, pass. Number seven. Pass. Oh, I don't like this one. <laughs> Pass. I don't like these. Okay, fine. Here we go. I'm down to number 12. That's how many I had to skip. Girls. All else being equal in two guys... Would you rather take a job? So you're reading two different versions. Would you rather date? Okay, girls, starting over. Girls, all else being equal in two guys, would you rather date a brain surgeon or a hedge fund manager? Um, well, it depends on which one is funny and kind and, um, you know, cares about me so it has nothing to do with what they do for a living sorry I just screwed that up too see cannot multitask what do I say multitasking is the devil so yeah that question it doesn't matter what they do for a living it sounds to me like either one of those people are going to be probably have a pretty good chance of making a lot of money, but doesn't mean either one of them are going to be somebody I'd want to date. If you're jackhole, no way. So, and now it's crooked that way. So, oh my God, I can't have crooked tape. Gotta, there we go. There we go. All right, 158. Um, number 13. Girls, who would you rather be roommates with for one year? Hillary Clinton or Angela Merkel? Okay, so I don't know who Angela is. So I guess I better Google her. And then, you know, you can all laugh at me while I'm doing that because I have no clue who that is. So, I don't even want to Google it. You know what? We're going to skip that. And you you all can put in the comments who the hell that is because I have no idea. These are dumb. Okay. Girls, would you rather wear skirts or dresses? Dresses. Thank you. Because... That's how I roll. Dresses are more comfortable to me, but it really doesn't matter. Why doesn't it say skirts or pants? It's like, would you rather wear girl clothes or girl clothes? I mean, come on. Really? Girls, would you rather be called pretty or smart? Smart. Absolutely. I would rather be smart than pretty. Um, because, uh, looks fade. Unless you spend a lot of money, then looks stretch. Because some of those people with the facelifts, oh my God, you look like, you know, we used to call that slick where you pull your face back until, you know, you're, some people are just not aging well. I'm not going to start naming names, but yeah. I'd rather be smart. I suppose if you relied on pretty, then you could, you know, get the surgeon or the hedge fund manager without as much problem as maybe the smart girl who's a little pudgy. I don't know. It doesn't say the smart girl has to be pudgy. But anyway. Oh my God. Given the choice, would you rather die peacefully in five years or horribly in 15? 
Oh my goodness, what a horrible question. Man, I don't know. This tag, I swear. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I do not know. And I don't want to think about it. I suppose, no, I'm going to answer it. I suppose it, it depends. Horribly doesn't necessarily mean painfully. Horribly could just mean, it could still be quickly, but let's say, you know, a, a plane crash or something where there's fear or it could be, you know, some, you know, bombing or something horrible. I mean, those are all horrible things, right? But it doesn't mean it's, you know, slow and painful. It didn't say that. So... I would say 15 years and horribly. But rethinking that, if I knew when I was going to die, I get to choose. Okay, so I got five years and peacefully. So now I've, I've got, I know, I've got five years to do what I want. I know it's going to be peaceful. So I guess that. Jesus, questions. Holy Given the choice, would you rather know the day of your death or the cause of your death? Really? I suppose I'd rather know the day than the cause. Because then, you know, you can get your affairs in order, do everything you've ever wanted to do, and you know when the deadline is, rather than... Let's say, you know, I know I'm going to die drowning, so I'm going to spend the rest of my life avoiding water. Um, well, and it turns out I drown in my soup, you know. No, I'd, I guess I'd rather know the day. And then apparently be given the choice to die peacefully. All right. Next one... Is for men, so I'm going to skip it. Ooh, here's one. If forced, would you rather join the mafia or a street gang? Oh, man. Well, I guess the mafia. Nicer clothes. <laughs> Better food. I don't know. <laughs> I work for the mafia and I'll do their books. I don't want to, you know, get my hands dirty in the, you know, literal sense of but I'm sure they have like administrative positions in the mafia. <laughs> I don't know about street gangs, but yeah. I'll take an office job with the mafia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see where what <laughs> And I guess I I have more knowledge on the mafia than I do street gangs. You know. I haven't watched too many street gang movies, but <laughs> got you know more than one mafia movies under the belt in all these years. Okay. Um. Okay, so if you were in a room with 99 guilty murderers and one innocent person, would you rather put them all in prison for life or set them all free? Well, I guess that's the whole greater good of men kind of thing, you know. 
nothing's going to be great for everybody, but you're always looking for the greater good for the majority. So I'm going to go with 99 murderers in jail along with one innocent person is better for society than 99 murderers out on the street so that one innocent person isn't locked up, you know. Um, and then I would probably call the um, Innocence Project to get to work. That's just because I send them all to jail for life doesn't mean they stay there. Okay. If you're alone in the woods, would you rather encounter a mountain lion or a bear? Well, I'm going to go with based on the commercial from State Farm. My answer depends on whether or not I have a pen light with me. You know, the little laser pointers. Because if I have a laser pointer, I'm going mountain lion. Because, you know, what cat can re resist that? Um, if I don't have a laser pointer, I'm going to go with bear. Either way, I'm going to die. Now, if you could only save one, would you rather save your newlywed bride or your sister from a burning building? Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to switch that around to my newlywed husband and my brother because that makes more sense. And... I would save my husband because you just vowed to spend the rest of your life with them and my brother's kind of a dick so <laughs> family's family but you know you didn't get to choose them unless you know there's adoption and we didn't choose each other so don't get me wrong I love my brother but yeah his his nickname since high school was angry white man Sounds like cicadas outside. I remember when I was in high school was the year of the cicadas, but it seems like I hear them all the time now, unless those are not cicadas. But I hear them every summer down here because um, we've come down to, you know, to Disney World several times, and they're always I'm always hearing that. But the year I was in high, one of the years I was in high school was the year of the cicadas, which supposedly is what is it every seven years. C I C A D A Cicada. I made up a song. Name. Alright, and um moving on. Next question. Ooh. If you had to pick one, which would you rather eradicate from the world, rapists or terrorists? This is one dark frickin' list. Man. Holy cow. I'm going to go with terrorists because in my mind, a rapist is a terrorist and I would find, you know, that, that loophole that they get included because if a rape isn't terrorizing a woman, what is it? So terrorists. Ooh, if your age was permanently fixed. Would you rather be stuck at age 18 or 50? Wow. 
50. Absolutely. I was not happy. I was not a happy teenager. Um, not that I'm a big drinker either, but and not that being underage stopped me. But uh, I just feel like you don't get necessarily the the kind of for lack of a better word off the top of my head, respect as a teenager as you would as a 50 year old. People don't take you seriously. And as I answered, smart was more important than pretty to me. You know, I'd rather be 50. Um, I'd rather have the body of an 18 year old, but 50 as far as knowledge, experience, wisdom, um, outlook on life, the whole shebang, other than the body aches and pains and all that, that kind of sucks in the vision. I'd rather be 50. Absolutely. I'd be stuck at 50. That'd be good. Well, that's a stupid question, too. Okay. There's a lot of dumb ones on this one. If you could only choose one, would you rather go to Paris or London? London. Do you want an explanation? Mm. Easier to get around. Easier to understand the road signs. I mean, I want to go to both, but if I could only go to one, I'd go to the one where I would not have so much anxiety in the sightseeing. I'd enjoy it more, not feel so stressed. If you could live forever, would you rather stay one age forever or get older? I would stay one age forever. Now it doesn't ask what age. If I could pick my favorite age ever, I would pick Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight was a good year. I was pretty damn hot when I was twenty-eight too. I might insert picture. Hmm? When she a cutie. Next question. If you could pick one, would you rather have infinite money or unending love? Wow. Love. I've always said love matters more than money. I'd rather be happy in you know, uh, living in a trailer than miserable in a mansion. So, love. Okay, next. question is this, if you could save just one, would you rather save humanity or the earth? What the hell? Okay, I'm going to have to think this one through. How the hell do you save humanity and not the earth? You move to Mars? 
Okay, fine. And you save Earth, but all of humanity dies? Or am I misdefining the word humanity? Humanity being humans. Or is humanity a state of mind? Of, you know, oh, the humanity of it. Hmm. I would say of humanity. What good is the earth for, you know, what, the plants and the animals? But there's no humans anymore? Well, then, we if you've ever seen that show, what was it? Um, Life After People or whatever, what would happen to the earth if we all disappeared? It's... It's going to be a shit storm if we're not here. So, yeah, save humanity, I guess. Okay. Now, the next one. I know most of this that I'm cutting is out of frame, but, I mean, you guys get the idea how to cut, right? Okay. Don't need to school you on how to use scissors, I hope. I didn't really need to turn that over. It was a plus sign. It looked the same whether it was, yeah, it was, oh, whatever. Okay, so next question. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you had to be a slave, would you rather be in the Confederate States of America or ancient Rome? Well, I don't know jack about the slaves in ancient Rome, but I certainly know that the slaves in the Confederate States didn't have it so hot. It was horrific. Um, so I guess, <laughs> Jesus, I don't know. Um, pass. Okay, I gotta plug in my tablet. It's dying. Battery's dying. There we go. Almost done kitting this thing. I'm gonna hurry up here. All right. Next question. If you had to choose, would you rather die of sadness or guilt? Jesus, this is the most morbid list of questions in the world. Holy criminy. Well, having depression, I know how god-awful that is, but I also have guilt, which leads to depression. So it's like the same freaking thing sometimes. And to actually die of it? Pass. Ooh. If you had to live any place away from people, would you rather be on a mountain or an island? An island. Hoping that it's a tropical island. Because I think mountain, I think cold. I think island, I think warm. But I could be wrong. I've seen alone the show where they drop them all off up in Canada live by themselves and it's freezing cold and whoever lasts the longest wins half a million dollars. Yeah, so I am going to like pre-screen these tags in the future because this is just such a downer. If you had an IQ of 130 plus, would you rather have 
10 points more or 10 points less on your IQ. Well, what? What? Okay, I don't get it. Why would you want less? Why would you want to be not as smart? I don't understand. Because if you were that smart and being that smart was causing you issues, you'd be smart enough to know how not to how to act not so smart. And I mean I don't get that question at all. I really don't. That and I have never mind. Okay. All right. If you were 18 again, what would you rather have? A million dollars in your bank account or an IQ of 145 plus? <laughs> okay. I'll take the million dollars. Because <laughs> that other road is a little more familiar to me. And uh, not, I'm not trying to be boastful or whatever. But that's why I kind of paused on that last question. Um, I'd rather have the million dollars. I don't have a 145 IQ, but uh, um, IQ alone doesn't mean success. Okay, let's just say that uh, just because you have a high IQ doesn't mean that everything else in your life is, you know, all the stars are in line for you to be successful. There's other things that can get in the way. So I would rather have a million dollars. Thank you very much. Okay. So yes, I do not have a 145 IQ. Alright. I'm skipping that one because I don't know enough about history to even begin to answer it. Okay, next question is, God, now we got like life support questions. Oh my God. What the hell? Is this like the suicide hotline questionnaire? What the hell is this thing? This is terrible. Okay, if you were born to a teenager, would you rather be kept or put up for adoption? What? Kept? Again. If you're happy and in a trailer, it's better than miserable in a mansion. And just because you're a teenager doesn't mean you're not mature enough to take care of a child. Eh, stupid questions. Stupid questions. If you were brain dead with little hope of recovery, stuck on life support in a coma, well, isn't that encouraging? Would you rather continue living for 30 plus years in that state or would you rather be pulled off life support? Unplug me. Unplug me, please. Really? Brain dead. Life support in a coma. You're brain dead. Pull the plug. You don't even have to wait till I'm brain dead. Pull the plug. Now, I'm not saying, you know, she is 99.9% 99 .9 survival uh, rate with her current condition. Pull the plug! <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not what I'm saying. Honey. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I almost feel like I need to clarify this because it's like documented and it's going to be out there in the world. 
So let's just say, like, if I have less than a 25% chance, pull the plug. If it's 26 or better, you know, let's give it a couple days, see how it goes. All right. Uh, this is like the most morbid list. Or if you're trapped in sci-fi world, Star Wars or Star Trek, I don't give it two shits. Just pull the plug. Okay. In a life and death situation, would you rather save your pet or a stranger? Oh my god. Um. A stranger? Really? I mean, yeah, I just snapped a judgment on answering that, but it just, to me, I mean, I love my pets, but, you know, I've had my pets put to sleep when they're in pain, so I would never, you know, put my, you know, parent to sleep or my husband to sleep. There's a difference to me between pulling the plug and putting them to sleep, you know, but... Yeah, I value human life over that of animals. Unless, of course, you know, it was a stranger to me, but I knew that he was like, you know, a rapist or a murderer or something. Then, yeah, that's different, but it just says total stranger. Yeah. Oh. Now, are they 98 years old and, you know, on life support? I mean, there's qualifications to that. You know, is it a small child stranger? I don't like these questions at all. I should stop because these are just icky. I'm never going to get through this. Ladies, would you rather be curvy or slim? Again. Seriously, I'm going to stop with this. None of these, I haven't liked any of these questions like, that I can remember. I think they were all lame. Invoking some aggression in me. It's not doing a tag in order to get all piss off. Piss, pissy, piss, pissy, getting pissy. Don't mean to be pissy. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Would you rather be a bee or a wasp? Would you rather be four feet tall or eight feet tall? Would you rather be a chair or a table? I mean, seriously, okay, I'm, I'm shutting that sucker off. Those are stupid. Lame. So anyway, don't know if I'm gonna load this video because that was completely a waste of time. So, with that said, I think you've all got the idea of what I'm doing here. I'm not going to make you suffer through it. I'm out of stuff to say. I can't stop yawning. I'm going to finish this up. And, uh, catch up with you some other time. Because, again, I'm just exhausted today. So, I will see you all soon. Bye. Okay, so I finally finished kidding it up. This was the DIY square over here. And two carried over. And Diamond Art Club here. So, there you have it. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go watch TV. So, you made it through it. Congratulations. Um, if, you, if you feel like, you know, 
Do you like to meet somebody you talk to? No, I, I don't know. I, it's, it was bad. It was, it was really bad. And um, she's going to be more careful in the future. So, sorry about that. Just, mm. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, next one's going to be um, a little perkier. Okay. I, I think so.